finally have another dessert recipe for you guys. This vegan matcha cheesecake bites recipe is adapted from The Minimalist Baker. First, we're starting out with quick soaking raw cashews. You can let those sit for an hour while you prep the other parts. If you don't have muffin liners, you can do what I did and cut out strips of parchment paper to line the cups with. This is a no-bake recipe, but you'll still need a way to remove the cheesecake bites after freezing them. Once that's done, you can make your crust, which is a combination of walnuts and pitted dates. It's really important that you use sticky dates since your crust needs to be able to bind together. Toss the walnuts and dates into a food processor along with vanilla and spices and blend well. Once the crust is mixed, you can add about a quarter of an inch of crust to each cup. Next, you can move on to your filling. Grab your soaked cashews, drain them, and toss into your food processor. Add in maple syrup, coconut milk, powdered sugar, lemon juice, matcha, vanilla, and a dash of salt. I think I did about two passes of filling for each of the cups. Be sure to leave some space at the top, otherwise the tops will crack when you pull them out with the parchment paper if you're using that method. As I mentioned earlier, this recipe is adapted from the Minimalist Baker, so here's where I messed up. I forgot to add the coconut oil into the food processor with the other ingredients, so I added melted coconut oil into each of the cups. I advise that you don't do it this way. Um, if you add the coconut oil initially, then the filling will hold its shape much better. So um, because of my error, I just froze the cups for a lot longer. Despite my mistake, I think they still came out pretty good, but I'll definitely try out this recipe again and I'll be sure to remember the coconut oil. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. This recipe and others can be found at httpvegan with 2 vscom Thanks so much for watching.